guys welcome back again to my channel the Appalachian home so today I'm going to show you how to use a PDF pattern that you can download from the internet or even upload to your computer and convert that to a PNG that you can actually use in Cricut Design Space and today I'm using this leather wallet pattern I actually did a video a while back on doing a leather wallet in Cricut so I got a question on how to upload and convert this pattern to use in Design Space so that's what I'm going to show you guys today this leather pattern I found at makesupply.com. I just clicked on the link for the PDF and saved that file to my computer. Next, you want to open a new Inkscape document. If you don't have Inkscape, it is completely free to download and use. Just go to inkscape.org to download the correct version for your computer. Now that you have it downloaded, you wanna open a new document in Inkscape. Then you want to go to file, and document properties. Here you can change the units to inches if that's what you're working in and I also like to change my page size to eight and a half by eleven. Now you want to open your files and drag the PDF onto your canvas. If your PDF has several pages you will need to change the page number at the top of this little box for every page of the PDF. This particular one has three pages so I'm going to drag over page one and then after I finish doing that, I'm going to do the same steps for pages two and three. And now that you have uploaded all of these into Inkscape, we're going to export all of these as PNGs so that we can upload them to Cricut. Now I want to create a background for each page. When I'm uploading these to Design Space, I only want the shapes of these images and not the actual lines that you see here on the paper. So first I'm going into File and Document Properties and I'm going to click on Checkerboard Background and I'm also going to remove the eight and a half by 11 sheet that you see here. Next I'm going to use the square icon and I'm going to draw a square that is 8.5 by 11 inches and this is going to represent a size of a sheet of paper. I'm going to make one of these sheets for each page of my PDF. I'm going to object and lower to bottom to move the sheet under the image so that I can see my images. Then I'll just hit Control D to duplicate the sheet of paper for each page of the PDF. And you want to make sure and lower each sheet to the bottom of your image. Now I want to export each page as a PNG. So you want to select your image along with the white sheet underneath it and go to File Export PNG. After that you want to save it under whatever file name you want to name it. Here I'm going to name this one Leather Wallet PNG1 and make sure you click Export to actually export your file. You want to do this for each page of this PDF. Now I'm ready to go over to Cricut Design Space and upload these PNGs. Now open a new project in Design Space. You want to go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and then select each PNG you created in Inkscape for this pattern. Remove all the white background and any text using the Erase tools, which I'm going to show you how to do now. The first one allows you to erase the background by just clicking on any part of the image that you want to erase. And then you can use the erase tool to actually erase texts and other parts of the image you don't want to include in your project. You also want to save this as a cut file and not a print then cut. That way you are going to be uploading the shapes for Cricut to cut out. Now I'm going to continue to upload the next two pages, just erasing all the white areas that I don't want to keep. Now 
Once you've uploaded all the pages, click on them and insert them onto your canvas. Now you will want to resize these patterns to the actual PDF size. So go back into Inkscape to get your dimensions and transfer those sizes onto your shapes in Design Space. I'm just removing the white background, click on each image. I'm just going to copy the height that I get from the first PDF and then type that in for the one that matches in Design Space. Now all my images are resized to their actual size and I can cut them out on my machine. If there's specific things you need to do to the pattern, like join two pieces together, you can do that using the slice and weld tool. To break out part of an image, I'm going to draw a square, then select both the square and the image, hit slice and that will break that apart into two separate images. If you need to attach pieces together, you can flip them using your flip tool and then drag them very close together. You want to zoom in to make sure there are no gaps between your images. You can also align two images by dragging a box around both of the images and then going to align. And for this one, I'm going to align to the top. Now, once I have them aligned and together, I just hit weld to weld those two pieces together. Now all these images are ready to send to my cutting machine to cut out on whatever material that I'm going to be using. So I hope this video helped you guys. There's many ways that you can actually do this and different things you can do to PDFs, but this is the simplest way that I've found to do this. So if you have any suggestions or better ways to do this, definitely leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you back in a couple days with a new video.